Hey, what's happening YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about how to speed up all these APKs that I have on my Fire Stick. Okay, how to speed up the whole experience in a Fire Stick. Your Fire Stick might be sluggish, you're running so many APKs, it might be slowing you down and it's really slow. So this can be done on a Fire Stick 4K, Fire Stick Lite, the interface might look a little bit different, but it's the same process. Show you a couple of tricks, the things that you could do to speed up your fire stick prevent buffering in apps and all that stuff okay so the first thing on your fire stick go in here go to settings and once you're there in settings you want to go to my fire tv and then first thing go to about and you can see i'm on the 4k fire stick okay and you can check for updates and you can check if you're on the latest os so the latest os is going to give you up-to-date experience and it's going to be the fastest as amazon always improves okay now we're going to install a special app that's going to kill all the tasks that are not necessarily needed on our fire stick or to run them in the background so go to my fire tv or my device whatever it is go to developer options and make sure apps from unknown sources is turned on so let's turn that on and let's hit the home button now I'm going to show you how to load downloader so go to the search and search for downloader downloader it's going to come up as an orange icon you're going to click on that and click the download button it's going to queue it and download downloader i'm going to show you how to get the file linked application it's very convenient to load all these applications for free movies and free tv shows okay let's press the open button on the downloader press the allow button press the ok button we're going to click one up here, click into it, and we're going to put in the following URL. Get dot file linked. Dot com. And then press the go button right there, okay? Once you do that, it's going to say connecting. You're going to see... The progress bar go through it's going to download and then once finishes downloading it's going to pop up and ask us to install okay do that and when it installs we're going to press the done button and i'll show you a little thing here press the done button okay it's going to say it installed successfully you can press the delete button what this does is removes the actual installation file you don't want to keep that stuff around because it becomes bulky delete and then press delete okay let's hit home since we have the file linked installed you should see uh, file linked under your apps and games. Click on see all or in applications, depending if you're using the new Fire Stick Lite. It might look a little bit different and file link should be there. As you can see, you have all these applications and you can download them from my store for free movies, free TV shows and live TV. I'm going to give you the code right now. So enter code, click into it and put in when you open up the file linked application, your Fire Stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight twos. You can press the next button. Press the continue button. And we're going to put in enter pin click on it and put in 47 54 for the pin number let's press the next button and press the continue button okay it's going to take you into my store feel free to download anything you'd like from my store you can jump categories by hitting the forward arrow i got cody i got movies and show apps feel free to load them dismiss any pop-ups that come up okay i also got free tv applications and i also got fire stick tools as well okay a bunch of things here okay so i'm gonna hit back the forward arrow i'm gonna jump all the way at the top so let's go all the way at the top okay it's gonna say welcome to new tech store and i want you to get a couple of applications so the first one we are going to get is right at the top fast task killer okay download the fast task killer press the play button and press the install button to install the fast task killer let's press the done button on that the next one we're going to do is the MX player. So when MX player finishes downloading, we're going to hit that play button. Also feel free to load any other applications. What I mean by play button, this becomes a play button and then we can use that. And I'll show you how to use MX player with some applications. Okay. Hit the play button and press the install button on the MX player application. Okay. And then press the done button. Okay. Now let's say you've loaded a bunch of movie show apps and a bunch of things from the file link store. That's fine. But now you have a problem. There's a lot of installation files that are slowing down your fire stick. So what you want to do is you want to hit back and say, 
Are you sure you want to enter a code, new code? Say yes. My code's always going to be remembered here. You just go back in at any time with the same code and PIN number. You want to click on the little garbage can and it's going to ask you, do you want to delete all files from the file link download folder? You're going to say yes. This clears out all those files I downloaded and improves my Fire Stick experience, okay? I want the installation files installed, but I don't want the actual APKs hanging around, okay? So that's what I've done in file link. I cleared that out. So go to Fast Task Killer, and all you do is click on that Fast Task Killer, and what is going to happen, it's going to terminate all those processes running in the background. So you can do this every time you use your Fire Stick for a week or two and just hit that button and we're back to new. Fast Task Killer kills all those processes and your Fire Stick runs better. Okay, we've also downloaded MX Player. So let's look where MX Player is here. It should be somewhere here on our list. If the Fire Stick is not blocking it, but if it is, no problem. It looks like MX Player is being blocked by the Fire Stick. I'm not seeing it. So it's got to be here, settings. And Fire Stick's getting tricky with this. They're trying to do this now, blocking applications. Settings, applications, and manage installed applications. And MX Player should be hanging around somewhere here. There you go. MX Player, right there. I'm not sure why Amazon likes to block it. But anyways, click on it. Let's see the permission. Location deny, storage deny. So storage allow, location allow. It's only a media player. It's not going to harm us. Let's do launch application and start up MX player. When it starts up, put yes, I agree. Just click on that. It's going to ask you to update. We're going to click not now. Let's not upgrade. There's no need. This version is a pro version. It's a good version from my store. Hit the home button. Okay. And we killed all the processes with fast task killer like I showed you and now we can go to our favorite application so let's say we want to use let's say film plus okay let's start up film plus and if I ask you to update you can get this application from my store I'm just showing you this how it works click on here okay and go to settings and click on, you're going to scroll down. It's going to have a bunch of things. Okay, a bunch of settings. Choose default player, see internal player. We're going to go to MX player. It works the best and is a recommended player. So here's the thing now. When I try to play something, let's go to movies. And I try to play something. Sure, let's play, let's play Fat Man. So it's going to go off, scrape for links. And you can do this in Cinema HD too. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do that in Cinema HD as well. But then I'll show you a little trick. After you're done using these applications for a week or so, or playing a lot of stuff, okay? So hit that play button. MX Player should automatically pop up. You'll see a little blue thing. And when it connects to the actual content, the player will come up, as you can see here. And the content is playing MX Player, okay? This is the best player in my opinion, okay? You got subtitles, you got tools, you got help, you got a bunch of options in MX Player that you can actually set up from the MX Player. Great, great little player. That's going to prevent the most buffering as some internal player in the applications are not really well designed for streaming. MX Player is the gold standard of a media player. Okay, so let's go back your apps and games and let's look at Cinema HD, okay? Show you how to do that in Cinema HD as well. So you'd go in here and then you would go to settings. Cinema HD is a great application as well. It's available in my filing store, just like I showed you earlier. So default player is cinema. I'm going to go with MX player, same thing. And I'm going to go here, movies, and I'm going to try to show you the same movie. Okay. So if I, if I find it, oh, there, there's fat man. Okay. It's going to show you streams and links. And then let's click on a link. Okay. So let's click on HD fat man right here play mx player should boot up and you should get the same experience by setting up that player ttv is a little bit different some applications you're going to select play with and then you're going to choose mx player okay timer will kick in you can fast forward you can go back you can see when it's connected the content will just start streaming as mx player tries to directly connect to the movie okay if one link doesn't work you can try another link 
and then when you see it connect, that's what I like about this, the timer kicks in and it's playing, okay? Very nice APK as well, Film Plus, Cinema APK, little bonus, those two I would recommend, okay? And then let's run this task killer again, we don't want all that background noise, look at that calendar storage, Whisper Link SDK, bunch of garbage that you don't want, you have the fast task killer when you start running sluggish, okay? If you bought my VPN, guys, I thank you so much. Uh, I have a discount for a VPN, so I am running a VPN when I use these applications, and I'm going to connect right here. So when it's running slow as well, because with a VPN, it may slow you down, you feel you may get some buffering. One solution to this is go in here, make sure you have startup connection action, connect to fastest server, auto reconnect, have that on, okay? Scramble mode on. VPN protocol, what you can try to do, you can try IKE V2 beta uh, if you experience buffering, okay? So I'm going to reconnect and I'm going to make sure I go on another protocol in the IP Vanish VPN. So for those of you that are protection, protected, try the other VPN protocol. I'm on IKE V2, okay? So I'm going to go home and I'm going to show you that this performs as well with another protocol. So this is a setting in IP Vanish. If you have IP Vanish or you bought it through my link, Okay, so I'm going to go back to Fatman and I'm going to see if it works with the other protocol being connected to the VPN, okay? So here's all my streams, they're kicking in and it looks like I'm getting some streams with a VPN that I wasn't getting before, like the M4U3, okay? Let's hit the play button and okay, I'm going to start this one over. It remembers that I was watching it. MX player should pull up and it should start playing the content with that protocol, okay? So let's give it a minute and there you go, it's playing, okay? So try in the IP Vanish setting the IKV version 2 protocol and make sure you have it set to fastest server. Another tip, okay? And if you don't have IP Vanish, it's available from my store. So the reason I recommend using IP Vanish with all these APKs uh, that I show you that are available in my store is to be fully protected. With all these crackdowns going down, it's better to be safe and IP Vanish will give you the least buffering. And I have the big discount in the pinned comment in the description. Uh, it's going to give you 60% or more off uh, depending when you buy it, but it's going to give you a big discount. I teamed up with IP Vanish. Click on that link. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it in the pinned comment. If you'd like to take advantage of a VPN, that's going to keep you safe. It's going to keep you protected. And you can go back, as I said, to my file link store and you can load many of these APKs and make sure they're running efficiently and safe. Okay. So this will speed up your Fire Stick. If you're still getting buffering, you might want to think about connecting your Fire Stick directly with an Ethernet plug into an actual router. I'm on Wi-Fi right now, I'm getting good results, but your Wi-Fi may be sluggish too. A couple of things you want to turn off on your Fire Stick, and I always say before I sign off here, go to Settings and go to Preferences and go to Data Monitoring and make sure it's off and privacy settings, device usage data, I'm going to turn it off, I'm going to collect app usage data, I'm going to turn it off, Int interest-based ads, I'm going to turn it off. So in privacy settings, turn all those off. Now, another thing to note, if you updated your Fire Stick, it might have turned them back on every time you update. You might want to check on that as well. Another tip, if your Cinema APK starts running sluggish, if your Film Plus starts running sluggish or any other APKs, here's what you do. Go to settings, and go to applications and go to manage install applications. If my cinema APK was sluggish, I would go here and I would say, you know what, cinema APK, you're running very slow and I'm really disappointed with you. So I would go in here and I would click on it and I would go to clear cache and I would clear data. Okay, and then I would force stop and I would relaunch it. Okay, and now when you relaunch it, you're going to hit the allow button and now you have a clear version. Nothing is remembered. Uh, it's like starting the application from scratch. But you have to remember now that you might lose your watch, your favorites, things like that. So all that stuff that was being stored and tracked is now gone. So do that at your own risk. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all the things I can think of. Uh, really, the point of this video was to show you the fast task killer, how you can kill all those applications. Hopefully, you find this, guys, very, very helpful. 
And if you're not protected with a VPN, guys, link is in the pinned comment description. You can get an account. The VPN is available here. I can search for it for IPVanish right from the Amazon store. Works on unlimited devices. Great VPN, great form of protection with all these crackdowns going on and some internet service provider blocking links. If you'd like to take advantage, like I said, the information is below. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if any of this has helped you. Try using MX Player. Uh, most apps support MX Player. Uh, some will not, but those that you can use an MX Player, try to utilize MX Player. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great, great day.